Welcome, everyone, to an NCAA.com March Madness Skype session. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by Jermaine Cousinart from South Carolina, who hit the shot of the night, maybe the shot of the season in the SEC, one of the shots of the season overall, a banked three-pointer to knock off Kentucky in Columbia. Uh, Jermaine, take me through that last possession because Emmanuel quickly had just tied the game. You've only got a couple of seconds to inbound and go. What would you see? Uh, Frank had told me to get to the outlet spot and just just push, see what we can get. And I saw that they shaded me one way, and I guess our big man, Alonzo, he had kind of said like a little bus screen for me. So I just came around and I took one dribble pull up and I just made sure I got over the shot block. Okay, what did you think the chances were that you were going to bank that one in? To be honest, I didn't know I was going to bank it. I thought I, thought I shot it too hard, to be honest. But I felt like the rotation coming out. I saw it, like, before when I saw it hit the top of the glass, so I just knew, yeah, it was going in. And then you were running, and you were running all the way to the corner. I mean, obviously, <sighs> not even thinking, you're just running. What was it yeah, like I, to be at the bottom of that pile? I was trying to, like, play a little game with my team, just trying to run one way so I could get them running another way. But they, I guess they kind of called me. They jumped on top of me. All right, explain this to me. You guys are down 14 multiple times in the second half, how'd you guys come back? Uh, just fight. I, I kept telling my team in the huddle, like, just keep fighting. Like, keep fighting. Just keep being aggressive. Don't shade away. Don't get down on yourself. Shots going to fall for us. Just keep fighting. Look, Kentucky's got that target every time they go on the road in the SEC. What's it like when you know Kentucky's coming into your building and you've got that shot to have a moment like this? Uh, man, that's a big opportunity for me. Actually, because I just we just lost three games in a row, and I feel like this was a big win for us, our team. So I just told him, like, man, we got we can't just stand up for these guys. We got to keep playing like this every game. Yeah, Jermaine, I, I don't know. It, it, you guys are hard to understand. I'll be honest, okay? Because you lost early in the season to BU to Stetson, and yet you beat West. Uh, excuse me, you beat Virginia handily on the road. You knock off your rival Clemson. Uh, you're what eight and seven, nine and seven now overall, one and two in the SEC. How do you make sense of what's happened so far this season? Uh, I feel like some of the games we beat ourselves, and we didn't come out prepared to play some games, and then we just some of the big games we was just hyped for. So, so if that's the case, you've got a win like this, you had a shot like this, you've got a highlight like this. How do you make sure that this isn't just a blip? that this isn't an outlier, that this is now what South Carolina is going to be the rest of the season? Uh, I just got to keep being vocal every day. Just me, keep on trying to lead the team, just putting confidence to people, telling them they believe in their own stuff. And then I feel like we'll come up fine. How often have you ever hit a buzzer beater? Uh, not often. I think this is my first one. <laughs> How much do you think you're going to remember this and watch this highlight for the rest of your life? Man, forever. Congrats on a great moment. Uh, obviously, a tremendous uh, just game and ending for all of us to savor here. Good luck the rest of the year if we don't talk. I appreciate it.